focused on being the president's wife. You seldom saw them when they weren't holding hands. They genuinely preferred to be with each other than anyone else. The Reagans lived a private life after they retired to California until 1994, when the former president revealed he had Alzheimer's disease, a battle he would lose 10 years later. It was what she described as the long goodbye. How difficult that was for her, but I think she did it with great dignity. I think she preserved his dignity. It's a part of her legacy, something she will always be remembered for. Nancy lived quietly after the president's passing, appearing occasionally at events honoring her husband. The statue is a, is a wonderful likeness of Ronnie, and he would be so proud. And he, proud of her. While the woman the Secret Service called Rainbow is now gone, her time as First Lady remains an indelible part of history, not only to her country, but to her husband. Adam Housley, Fox News. Again, Nancy Reagan, dead of historians, biographers, about the place she'll have in history. Stay with us. I know from all the places I've gone how hard it is to turn your lives around. I know that. But we only make this trip once, I think. And um, we really should make it count. President Reagan's funeral, touching that casket. Now she is with the love of her life and will be buried next to him in Simi, Simi Valley. Nancy Reagan was 94.